Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about, as promised in the last episode, how to make a command to set the welcome channel and the welcome role for your Discord bot with your database. So if you haven't watched the last episodes about how to make a welcome system, how to make commands and all the different options for commands, or you haven't watched, yes, yeah, so database, commands or the welcome system make sure to go watch those episodes it's all made in a playlist that you can find at the end of this video it'll pop up on screen or there's a link in the description of the website that has all the videos and all that good stuff also make sure to join the discord server link in the description i can help you guys with programming support and stuff like that on there i'd really appreciate it and consider adding my discord bot which is also linked in the description i'm trying to get it verified it needs to get to 75 servers all the information in the description please consider checking it out Thank you very much and on with the video. So yeah, as I said, in this video, we're gonna be making some configuration commands. I guess a good place to start is making a new command. We're gonna call this command set welcome channel, I guess, dot JS. I'm gonna go ahead and take the ping command, put it in here. So we're gonna make the necessary changes set welcome channel So basic name and description. Now we're gonna add a user option. We're going to set the name of the option to, or sorry, not user option. What am I doing? Channel option. So we're gonna set the name to channel. Set the description. Channel to send the welcome message in. There we go. So we got the name of the channel. We're gonna set this to required. Well, actually, because what happens if we don't want to what happens if we want to set it to nothing and delete it so we're going to leave it as not required for now we're not going to reply with pong obviously so these are the three things we're going to need options member and guilds the reason why we need the member is we need to check the permissions of the user that sent it. I guess we can also set it here. Set default permissions, default member permissions, sorry. Um, permissions flag bits. Dot administrator. And then we're also going to set the DM permission to false because we don't want people to be able to use this command in their DMs. There's no point. We're going to equal it to interaction. Now I haven't done this in a little bit, so sorry if I'm a little bit rough about how to make this. I can't remember exactly because yeah, it's been a while, but should be pretty good. We're going to have to start with Oh, I don't know. You could check if they're the owner. So we could do if guild.owner ID is not exactly equal to member.id return interaction dot reply only the server owner can use this command. The reason why I'm saying server instead of guild is most people are used to server so may as well anyway now we're going to do const channel equals await options dot get channel ch 
channel. Channel, because that's what we set the name up here to be. So now what we can say is if there's no channel, return int, or not return actually. So if there's no channel, we wanna do something different. So if there's no channel, then we're going to have to say, oh yeah, and we gotta import it, sorry. Const guild equals require dot dot slash because we're in the commands models slash guild. Let's let's do it up here. Const and we have to do an array because this returns an array. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the information correctly. So guild.finder create. Make sure you do capital G because that's what we required. And we're going to set the where to be id interaction.guild.id. So essentially what this is doing, well, I guess we can't do that. So I guess we'll do interaction.guild. If we ever need guild in here, we're going to do interaction.guild. Don't have it up here if you want to name it guild. You could name this like database guild or something if you wanted. That's up to you. Now what we're going to do is if there's no channel, then what we're going to do... Well, actually, here's the thing. We're allowed to make it null. We're allowed to make it represented as nothing. So we don't really need to check if it's null or not. We're just going to await guild.update. And we're going to set the welcome channel ID as we declared in the model, the welcome channel ID. You could just copy this if you wanted to make sure you get it right. Welcome channel ID, we're gonna set it to channel.id. This should work in theory. There's a good chance I screwed something up though because it's been a while since I've done this. So let's start up the bot. Okay. It's too long of a description, that's fine. Actually, sorry. First, we got a node deploy commands.js. And since we didn't make any changes to how the guild is structured, we don't have to deploy, or sorry, sync DB again. And then we'll just start up the bot. Let me just go ahead and get in the server. All right, here we are. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the tutorial bot. We're gonna do, I believe it's set. Yes, yeah, set welcome channel. The reason why it's optional is because we don't have to declare it. And we could say nothing. Oh right, because there's no channel. So that's what we have to do. So if there's no channel, then we have to set this to null. But else, we can update it to the channel ID. Now that all works, we just need to respond afterwards. So we could await it, but we don't really have to because it's the last thing that happens. So it doesn't matter if we wait for it to happen or not, but we do interaction dot reply. And we could actually defer this at the top too. which also means that we're gonna have to change this to edit reply. So let's change it to edit reply. And we're just gonna say, well, let's make back ticks. Remember what back ticks are? They allow us to do this. Um, set the channel for welcome messages to channel. There's actually one more change we can make right now to ensure that it's always a text channel. Let me go double check real quick. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna do add channel types. Okay, well that works. Channel type dot guild text. I kind of like how that is. I like the autocomplete factor is what I like. Now, 
you see we do have a general voice channel but if i do set welcome and i specify a channel it's not here because it has to be a text channel so let's set it to staging because why not what's the error it has not been centered deferred sorry make sure to defer it and await it all right so yeah make sure to await it silly mistake We're gonna set the channel to, well, let's set it to welcome. That just makes sense. All right, let's see if this worked. I just wanted to clear the console. Um, now if we go into database, and we have the SQLA viewer, we can see the ID of the guild, the welcome channel, it's created at and updated at. So the reason why I updated that is nice, is let's say I update it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set it to general boom i set it to general I refresh this it was updated you can see the welcome channel ids here you can expand it as you need you can adjust it but yeah that's the basics of creating data within it now let's try and read it so if we go over into the welcome event guild member add we go into member.roles.add or sorry, let's do member.guild.channels.fetch and then we're gonna fetch the welcome channel ID. And we're gonna have to go ahead and we're gonna do guild, or sorry, guild.find1 where ID is equal to member.guild dot id we're gonna say const guild or let's say a db guild you can name it whatever you want equals guild dot find one const guild equals require dot dot slash models slash guild so now we have the guilds here and we're gonna say db guild equals guild dot find one where and then we're going to be able to say db guild dot. Now we can say, whoops, because we got the db guild now, right? Like we found it. Make sure to await this so we wait for it to happen. And we're going to do that. If we're, well, for whatever reason, if there's no db guild dot welcome channel ID return, because we don't want to do this. Or sorry, let's say this. If there is, then we can go ahead and do this code. So we'll just put a simple if statement. And I think there's one more thing I have to do. Because if there's no channel, um, let's see, disabled the welcome message system so if you didn't set a channel then it's just going to disable it and it's going to tell you that it's disabled so we'll start up the bot let's try out the disabling first so we get rid of the general let's get rid of the channel completely disable the welcome message system so now i'm going to switch over to my alt account Okay, so let's invite myself, copy that. All right, so now let's go into, well, it's not set. So if I leave the server and then I go ahead and I join a server, then you see there's no welcome message, obviously other than the default one. Now if I switch, or actually let's do the set. Well, I guess I don't have the roles, but if I was to give myself administrator, it shouldn't work because I'm not the owner, but let's test that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give myself an admin role. The reason why I'm doing this is because by giving it an admin role, it actually, like my alt should be able to see the command set welcome channel channel. I can try and set it to general, but it's not going to work. Yep. 
Anyway, now I'm going to go back over to my main. We're going to go ahead and set it. We're going to set the channel to welcome because that makes sense, obviously. And now I'm going to switch back over to my alt. I'm going to leave the server. We're going to add the server back and nothing happened. Welcome channel is not defined because I know we just set it. If db guild dot welcome channel member dot guild dot channels dot fetch db guild dot welcome channel ID. Oh, that makes sense. Sorry about that. So now if I just leave the server again and I join the server again, if you look at that and welcome, welcome to the server at Euler fool. Perfect. Now here's the challenge for you guys. See if you can figure out how to make the same system for the welcome role. Very, very similar. Once you get the welcome channel working, you can pretty much copy and paste the code and use it and modify it for your own needs. I want you guys to try and do that on your own. All right, bye for now. Website with code for all the videos is now in the description. So it's great, you can go on there. You can look at the code snippet slash video section. And what that has is it has old videos and it has code snippets underneath. So it helps you compare your code. It doesn't have the code word for word as you go further into the series, but it definitely does have a good starting point and you can compare the core concepts to make sure you have exactly the right wording as sometimes case sensitive stuff is a real big, big pain in the butt. For starting out, I have this as an option. So make sure to check that out, like and subscribe for more, and see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.